Convention People's Party, CPP, has repeated claims that the voters' register is fraudulent and cannot be used for the 2016 elections. The party has therefore boycotted an upcoming peace march, claiming government should focus on resolving their economic challenges. Here's a report by Edward Balami. Representatives of the PNC, CPP and the NDC honored invitation to support the Ghana Peace Invasion Campaign organized by non-governmental organization Youth Icons. The PNC and the NDC pledged their commitment to support the organization in engaging youth across the country in a peace talk. However, the CPP has boycotted the peace campaign. I'm sorry that maybe I'm marrying this program because I'm saying things that I am not supposed to say. Because I'm just here supposed to come and pledge beautifully towards a peaceful election 2016. But I am sorry that I am not able to do that. I decline. The party again described the voters register as fraudulent. You have a situation where the Supreme Court has uh, made a number of recommendations towards holding a peaceful election this year. That has not been heeded to. The Electoral Commission's own, how do you call it, uh, committee that was set up has equally not heeded to the recommendations of that committee to clean up the voters' register. The National Youth Organizer refused to rise and recite a peace pledge put together by the youth icons. Meanwhile, the chairman of the National Peace Council, Most Reverend Professor Emmanuel Asante, has described the comments by the National Youth Organizer as unfortunate. Our pledge to peace means that we are also committed to doing the very things that will, you know, take away those things that negate peace. But unfortunately, our, our friends saw it in a different way. I like to think that the majority of the people who belong to the CPP are peaceful and that they will commit themselves to the peace of this country. He emphasized on the need to address issues that threaten the peace of the country. I want to advise young people to understand that nobody has monopoly over violence and violence doesn't solve any problem in our country. Places where they have attempted to solve, solve problems through violence, they have not succeeded. That's what I said. Peace is something that we need to hold on to. Violence is too much of a burden for us to carry.